Hey guys. So before I start <clears throat> this actual video, I mean I've started it, but before I start talking about my actual subject of the video, I did want to make some announcements. Announcements? I feel like I'm like the guy at church, you know, who makes the announcements. Okay. Number one, um, that doesn't look like it got curled. I need to stop checking myself out when I'm trying to film. Okay, number one, thank you for subscribing and commenting and liking my videos. I think I'm up to like 64 subscribers. Everyone counts to me. I know there's girls out there that have 500,000 subscribers. Um, <clears throat> I rarely run across someone that has less than a thousand. But I figure, you know, if I'm meant to get there, I'll get there, and I don't really care if I do. I'm just excited every time I get one more person that wants to, you know, watch my videos and interact. So thank you for subscribing and talking to me and all of that. And I wanted to let you know that sometimes you guys will comment, um, especially on YouTube, not on Facebook. I mean, you will comment on Facebook, those of you that are friends with me. But the ones that um, comment on YouTube... I do respond to you usually if there's a question, but the feature in Gmail that lets me respond to you won't work. So if I get an email uh, that says, so-and-so commented on your video, you know, and then it says reply to her now, you know, reply now, I'll click on that and I'll answer your question and then I'll get an email saying it didn't work every time. So I think, I guess Gmail needs to fix their whole connection with YouTube. It's wet right here. I just thought I would clean it up. Um, I guess Gmail and YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube need to get together and figure that out. But so when I respond to you, I do have to go on my actual video in the comments and respond. So you may not get a notification that I've responded to you. So you might want to, since I only have, you know, probably five comments per video tops, you might want to go back and look through the comments if you've asked me a specific question and make sure that I didn't already try to answer you. I don't. I guess I'm saying I don't want anyone to be offended and think they they asked a question and I ignored it <laughs> because for the most part I think I've answered everybody. Um, and thank you for the comments. I don't always have time. A lot of times I'm at, at work when I get those notifications. But thank you for the comments and the nice things that everyone is saying and the and questions. And I hope the questions keep coming, and I hope you're seeing my responses to them. Okay, what's the other announcement? I feel like there was something else important. Oh, if you're not my friend in real life, um, and by that I mean like someone I've known previously and um, is watching my videos because I'm posting them on Facebook, if you only know me from YouTube, you can be my friend in real life if you want to. I'm really busy, so I don't know if I'll ever like come to your hometown and hang out with you, but you can follow me on Instagram. My last name is Roselle, R-O-Z-Z-E-L-L. -Z -Z -E Just don't try to like murder me and we'll be cool. So that's my last name. My first name is Crystal with a K. So it's Crystal Roselle. And if you want to friend me on Facebook, I'm fine with that. Um, as long as, I mean, like, just don't be a creeper. Like, I'm not, I don't think any of my follow or my subscribers are creepers. So, I don't think anybody's going to try to kill me um, or anything else like that. Still my identity. So, I'm comfortable with if you guys wanted to follow me. Um, I think my actual name, like, on Instagram is Crystal Roz. <laughs> but, um, just with a lot of Zs, I don't know. <clears throat> but I am on Instagram sometimes, and I'm on Facebook, like, all the time, like, too much. Um, but if you want to find me on Facebook, it's Crystal Roselle. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know you can be my friend in real life, and by real life, I mean the internets, if you want to. Um, and then, what else? Oh, okay, yeah, back to the point of the video. Um, if you can't tell, I am a little bit chubby. Um, I can kind of stand up if you need to see what my body looks like. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't awkward at all. Um, yeah, I'm about a size 12, and um, I, most of my life was obese. I, this is the smallest weight I've ever been since, like, fifth grade, if that tells you anything. I've always been, I was always the overweight one, and I got more and more overweight. I have PCOS, um, which is a hormone disorder among women, if you don't know that, and I have blood sugar issues, and I've just been, all my life, 
Uh, my body wants to be fat. My body does not want to be healthy and thin. So I have to battle with it constantly. So this is me maintaining a healthyish weight. If it might look like I'm overweight to some people, I mean, my doctor will still be like, you're obese, you need to lose weight. And I'm like, Psh. like, bitch, please. I lost 130 pounds. <laughs> like, that's how I feel. Like when she says that to me, I just want to be like, no, 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 no. Like, don't talk to me. But I do want to be in the healthiest weight range I can be in. So while I feel good about myself and while I try not to beat myself up for being not super skinny, I do want to be healthy and um, not be constantly battling this like, sorry, it's bugging me. This like 20 pounds, it just comes back and then I, you know, I beat it back down and then it comes back and it's like constant, like I'm constantly trying to stay under 200 pounds. Like that is my frustration and struggle. And I felt for the last few years, I've actually kept the weight off for about five or six years. <clears throat> and that, I just did that, by the way, through diet and exercise. Like there was no magic. Um, like I didn't have surgery. There was no, like, I can show pictures eventually. A lot of people know if you get on my Facebook and you really dig, you can see pictures of me at 300 pounds. So it's legit, but I didn't do anything. Like I've tried diet pills and sometimes, yeah, they do work, but it's like not something you want to do forever, so it's kind of pointless. And so what I learned is the thing that works the best is constantly staying motivated and just figuring it out. If this stops working, I'm going to find some, some new motivation. I don't mean doing fad dieting. I mean um, staying motivated to be healthy, like inside, like having that constant thing to push you. So yeah, I could totally get on a ramble and I know that I probably need to do more videos um, explaining how I lost the weight and the, the logistics of it. But the point is, I do want to lose another 30 or 40 pounds. I would really like to push myself to get past where I'm at and get down to a healthier weight for the doc for what the doctors say and to cut my risk of breast cancer and to cut my risk of diabetes and all of those things. So I really do... I just realized I don't have my rings on. I'm still married. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, I do want, I'm saying I do want to lose some more weight. I just don't want to ever um, like adopt the idea that like skinny is pretty like or skinny is beautiful or skinny is healthy. Like your healthiest weight is whatever your, your healthiest weight is. And mine right now is probably like I'd like to be closer to a size 10, maybe a size 8 than a size 12, 14 for my own health. But I think I'm sexy as hell, and I think women should just love themselves. So this is not an eating disorder video. <laughs> this is a I'm going to try to get healthier, do you want to go along with me kind of video. So the main point of this video is my friend Jenny is getting married in, I'm thinking probably next May. She just got engaged last night, and I love her, and I'm so happy for her, and congratulations, Jenny. Um, but I told her that I would try to help her get motivated to lose weight because, you know, everybody wants to be like their most beautiful version of themselves on their wedding day. So I said, hey, like, I'm going to I'm going to start a smoothie diet and we'll do it together and I'll make videos and we'll just get the whole world on board. And so I thought it would help me be motivated to do this publicly, kind of, and also um, help her stay motivated. And I also have always kind of wished I could be like a life coach for girls who are trying to lose weight since I worked so hard and I know the ins and outs of it. So I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to kind of put this out there and say if anybody wants to come along, I'll, I'm going to start doing videos every week saying, hey, this is what I'm eating. This is what's working. This is where I screwed up. This is the struggle and talking about it. And so, yeah, if you guys want to do that, like this video, comment. If you don't care about my my diet, that's totally cool too. But I just know, especially from Facebook, I have a lot of friends that I've grown up with that are constantly battling their weight and are doing really well or struggling. And I just want to be motivation for them and motivation for me and motivation for my friend Jenny for her wedding day. So yes, I'm going to start out, I think I'm going to go get some groceries. I might do a little haul later. Um, and just going to be like the things I put in smoothies. I'm going to choose smoothies because I think it's the fastest, easiest way to get whole foods, a healthy way to diet, um, with like fruits and vegetables and stuff instead of doing like low carb to death or like, I think there are some benefits to low carb, but I'll show you what I'm going to do in my, in my diet 
diet, lifestyle, health change later. I'm going to do a video on that. So I don't want to waste too much time in this one. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to start that and I hope that you're on board and I hope that you like that idea and I hope it will be helpful. So yeah, um, I probably built up everyone's suspense and now I don't have anything to like really show you or tell you yet. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to get some groceries and I'm going to prepare like kind of a list of things that I think are important for this and I will update you and you'll be able to see me getting like losing weight. You can tell really quick in my face when I'm losing weight. Um, but then if I'm not doing well, then you'll be able to tell too and you could be like, hey, I see you chubby cheeks. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Me and my daughter are going to go see Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, which is perfect for the weather we're having right now. And we're going to go see it in the theater in like five minutes. And we're going to walk around. And you know what? I might go to Forever 21. Who even knows? Like, who knows what could happen? <laughs> We're going to get some popcorn and we're going to have a girly time. It's going to be fun. So, yeah, I'll do another video soon about the diet thing. And thanks for watching and I love you. Bye.